Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of GP Plays All the Games, this time with a virtual pet jam. I'm playing all the games that are entered in this jam. It was about making a virtual pet. The theme was in the zone for about a minute each, 10 per video. Links to the individual games will be in the description, so you can check them out further. And all my info will also be in the description, so you can check me out as well. This video, as always, is brought to you by the lovely people on Patreon who support me so I can make this sort of content. So if you like what I do, consider supporting me on Patreon or following me on Twitter. Let's get started. We're playing Griblums. It told me to throw them at stuff to hatch them. And also to keep throwing them. Apparently they need uh, constant attention. Or else they just disappear. They're also very bouncy. I wish I kind of had a trash can for those shells. And every minute we get a new one. But as an experiment, I'm going to leave this ghosty boy alone. And only play with these two. Oh, that one's having, like, attention with the ghosty boy. Will they really go away forever? I don't know. They seem fun. Got a new one. Ah, oh, look at this one. I like him. Next. I'm playing Dino Zone. I can feed my little dino. I wonder what it's eating. It looks like meat. Maybe it's a carnivore. I can rest my little dino. Very cute. I can play with my little dino. They were looking at having stat bars and stuff by the sounds of things, but didn't get the time to implement them. It was end. Oh, I don't want to end. It's a cute game, you know, it's a great start. I like the little animation in the background. You can see the winds going and there's another dino. I wish I understood more what it was more of what I was looking at when it slept, because that's a bit hard for me to see. But all the other modes are good. What a good start. Next. We're playing UFO, which does have a, a launcher, it's how to be played in an emulator, um, that you can then play it in. It does say stuff like controls of the A button and B button. Oh, that kind of changed the size. See, it says here, A button. Oh, Alt, there we go. Um, how do we, just wanna move this. Oh no, it's just so small. There we go, much bigger. A button moves the icon, select the screen, control, selects. Okay, so we don't really wanna move it. I don't wanna feed it, I guess. Let's play. Just kidding. Poke it? If you poke you, will you wake up? It says, don't overfeed your toe. Don't let them sit with their filth for too long. Put them to sleep once in a while. They'll die. Apparently, you can play rock, paper, scissors and win. And if you win, that makes them happy. But right now, they're just like a little egg. Is this good? Is this a happy egg? Eventually, it looks like they become like a little pet. That's quite cute. I just would have to wait around to see that. Here's some pictures of the cute pet. Oh, so cute. Oh, so cute. Next. We're playing Ducky Daycare. I would love it. Look, Molly. Molly, I got your hat. Oh, there you go. Give everyone a little pet. Here, Egbert, you get a hat. Oh, who's gonna be a princess? That's gonna be Archie. A flower for Lucas, and a bow for Gwen, and a top hat for Lucy. Can I, yeah, here's some food. Here we go. Move off with this. Oh, they come when I do the bell. Oh, they're very cute. I got some food for you. Lucas, do you want to learn how to swim? No, I can't actually influence them that much. But I can give them little pets. And I gave them all hats. This is adorable. I really want a pet duck. My next pet will most likely be a pet duck. And I'm very excited about this. Aww. 
Oh, he's eating egg britsy. Oh, a bunch of people are eating. Oh, next. We're playing Hades. Press E or enter to interact with things and advance dialogue. Okay. The road drops steeply into darkness. We have no business in Hades. Okay, well, I have no business in Hades. A couple of blood red leaves break through the sand. Water the sprout? I mean, sure. The leaves lap halfway at the water growing. The sprout is thriving. Small, bony growths line up the underside of the leaves. One has fallen to the ground, a tooth. Feed the sprout. Yes, I'm making a monster, I know it. Hear the bones shiver beneath the sprout's flesh. They begin to chatter and fall to the ground as the sprout continues to grow. Of course, nothing weird about a plant that eats. What did you even feed it? Water, I guess. The sprout has developed an eye. It looks at you expectantly. Feed the sprout? Yeah. Sprout, no longer sprout, hums with pleasure as it grows again. The sprout has reached maturity. You feel that the soil is still hungry. Feed the soil? Yes. That's all. Oh, I made a little sprout monster. That'll be my second sprout monster. Next. We're playing vegetable mash. You've just inherited a small vegetable growing farm and have your sights on riches. With a couple of genetically enhanced seeds in hand, you set out to grow rare vegetables. Pick up seeds and plant them in any of the growing zones. Select veggies with rare traits and can buy their DNA and splicer. Who knows what you can come up with? You can try to earn money by selling creatures through the drop box and buy more exotic seeds with a computer pop-up. If you run out of money, just type mother load. Also, it's like the Sims. How do I pick up? Oh, okay. Wow, look at the little sprout. A little cabbage. Cab cabbage? Alright, so we want to splice you, I think, here. Alright, then we'll splice you with this. I'm just gonna straight up sell you. Sell you as well. I like how they're running around. They do seem like pets. I wonder what this seed will grow. Oh, it's just more of that. I don't really want this. Take you, put you in the bin. There's a carrot. Didn't have one of those before. And a broccoli. I like how we're literally just killing them to make one seed. It's very sad. What are you gonna turn into? Just a cabbage! Ah! Ah! Next. We're playing musical magical pet otters. This is very fun. Feeding him pasha fish. Also, different sounds do different things. Alright. I got big. Aw, oh, he's so cute. Oh, I don't. It's too low. I would like you to sing. Sing for me. Mainly this. Oh, wait, it's that one. This is very cute. I love the hand drawn, subtle animation. It's got such a great aesthetic. Wow. <laughs> I like it better, like, high pitch. <laughs> Next. We're playing Colon Ochi. Start the game by buying your first pet. Pets start in a basic shape, but they evolve after two days. Be sure to feed and give proper therapies to basic pet before it evolves. You can have up to nine pets at the same time in the colony. Select a virtual. You select a pet by clicking its face. You select a secondary pet by right clicking its face. This allows you the option that involves two pets. You use three buttons on the top left corner to control time. Some actions automatically stop the timer. Alright, we'll see. Well, this is our pet. Well, I guess we'll feed it. I should have, like, that clicked, I guess? I don't know. Uh, I don't know what a lot of this do does. Guess we'll inject that one. We've got a lot of money, so there's that. We'll speed up time. I want to be able to do stuff again. Uh, just that one. 
And then you inject with this. Become have to become female? Sure. And then you I guess we'll feed with a gross smoothie. Well, let's awaken. Let's awake. Feed. It just keeps like, I can't really read what's happening, you know? Because it kind of like, is off the screen. Now, should we feed you? I don't know if I'm helping these pets. Like, this one seems really unhappy. Maybe you should... I don't know, be happier. You looked happier for a second. Next. We're playing Bond Cat Care. Feed the cats using the given supplies. Use mouse. Got it. So yeah, cats always be killing. <laughs> Easy to kill their followers. Always be dying. I don't know what we're doing. I'm feeding the cats. Here's some coins. Do you want some coins? Do the cats eat the coins? Are you guys gonna like a, fight these people? Like, what are you doing? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Feels really wacky. Doesn't feel like I'm currently taking care of any of these cats in any way, shape, or form. I'm not really sure what any of this uh, means or what it does. But I am feeding the cats, which is the only guidance I have. And I'm also paying them, so, like, that cat. That cat doesn't look like it's doing well. So he's behind other cats. Oh wow, that's a very creepy face. Thank you very much. Next. We're playing at Hatchling. A for health, S for stamina, D for morale. Pepper the wa water wither? Watcher of spirits. Okay. What is this creature? It looks like a hand. I gave very um, equal stats, just two in each category. How to approach an obelisk. It stands, it demands. Shying away, shuddering into it. Glances, inception, reaches retina. The wicked truth lies open. Read inscription. A breath, sacred knowledge, unholy incantations. A breath. Yorgoth was here. I don't know who that was, but sure. The hatching can't do this anymore. It sits on the ground, stairs empty. It leans on the rock and things empty. It lies on the floor and is empty. How can it go? Search for something. The hatching jolts up. Perhaps this, perhaps that. The hatching finds neither. It wallows in its failure. Aww. I killed the hatchling. That's sad. I don't know how I could have made life better for them, though. Next. 